Wow. Oh, that's really cool. It, like, stopped there. Oh, and then it came back. Wow, that is really unique. Wow, that is cool. Oh my gosh, so many cool things. Hey, in this video, I wanna show you a brand new plugin called Boost by Ujam, and this helps you turn any track into an awesome transition. And I'll show you what it sounds like right now. So I've got this on a couple different tracks. I think this one, this one, this one, this one. So four different tracks here. And so we'll hear uh, this kind of whooshing transition sound here. And I'm not using any effects. I don't have any effects or any um, sounds like that. It's just the plugin itself. And there you have it. So let's start up here with this track and we have boost right here. Now real quick before diving into the tutorial, I just wanna let you know if you do decide to buy this plugin, be sure to use my affiliate link orpheusaudioacademy.com slash boost and use my code OAA20 at checkout to get 20% off. Now this might look a little bit different when you get it since I have a pre-release version. So there's different presets you can pull up and they have different um, configurations here. But the gist of it is you have these different controls and then you have this finisher knob here which lets you dial in those effects, how wet you want those effects to be. Um, so for this one, there's like a disruption tool here, what the beat is, um, which looks like I can't control that one. So it's actually just these three controls. And so I can have it be looping. I can have the effect repeat every two bars, every four bars or every eight bars. I can also make it manual here and then manually uh, con uh, automate in the knob here. And then here's a, an effect called downpour. So we'll let's hear what is actually going on here with this. Um, I'll also pull up my automation here because I believe I'm automating this in. Yes, yeah, so you can see nothing here and then the, the finisher effect comes in. So what you'll hear first here is no effect and then you'll hear what it sounds like as the boost comes in. All right, this is no effect. So that's cool, it creates that like chopping effect and also like a reverse cymbal type sound. So let's tweak the effects here and see how that sounds now. We'll go ahead and uh, loop just the part that gets automated here. So we could increase downpour. So that's cool, it's like making that louder. So let's turn downpour all the way up and see how loud that gets, and disruption. Oh, that's probably a little too much. So we'll dial that back, dial this back. And then you got a really cool effect here. Still a bit loud, so I'm gonna pull these down a bit. And then I might automate it in more here, so it's not so much just at the end. So that's pretty cool. Had some on this here. I'm using a different preset. And again, I am automating in boost, I believe. Yeah, so it comes in right about here. So we'll hear this now without it and then with it in. So we could probably make that a little bit more extreme. It's very subtle as it is right now. So we've got some accent here. We could try adding in some noise as well. So that's pretty cool. So it creates that crash at the end, but it also is like chopping it up. So like it ducks first at first uh, high cuts and chops up the sound and then it actually low cuts it and uh, opens up the highs at the end there. So that's kind of cool. A lot of stuff going on there. And let's see, let's check out another example of this. Here we go. 
So you can see it's a very simple plugin. There's not really a lot to explain. There's just usually like one or two controls. Um, you can have it loop or you can have it be manual. I like manual. I'm using manual again here. And I'm just automating this in. And this one's called All Rise. And we will hear this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. And then I have one more example. And again, there's tons and tons of presets in here. So these are just a few. These are just four different ones that I'm using on this track. So we'll hear what this one is doing. This one's very subtle. Let me exaggerate this so we can hear more what it's doing. Whoa. Snake in my boot. I don't know why I said that. Well, that's cool. Interesting. It's like a little alien spaceship taking off. So um, we'll just hear everything now playing and how that really sells the transition here between the pre-chorus and the chorus. So again, we'll have nothing and then it go comes in. pretty cool and there's a lot more you can do with this so what if we tried something on our drums here well let's just mess around with this and see what we can come up with so you can see this one's looping every four bars, so if we did every eight bars. We can create something like automate this in to create a little unique texture. Um, we have different types here, so let's look at drums. What early 80s sampler kitchen? So it's something we could automate in manually. Cool. So we start at zero here. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and create this automation here, and then we'll cycle through the presets and hear that hear it from going from nothing to being automated in something like that. So I think the drama is probably the deep part of it. What if I did minus? Different preset. Wow, that is really unique. Um, so you hear it fade to be just like the snare, but then also throws in a bunch of cool effects. So maybe if that's too extreme, we just pull this down a bit. I think I might like that. I think I might save that in here. Anyway, you can see tons and tons of different presets, different things for pads, for vocals. I might want to try some vocals next. Some background vocals here. Oh, oh, oh. 
So let's see what we can throw on here. Let's get some vocals. 90s remix. What about this? I'm really liking this plugin. This is going to make things a lot of fun. All right, let's hear now what this sounds like on vocals. Here we have it automating in. That is pretty cool. That is really awesome. Let's try something else. Ooh. And that's looping. That's not even manual if we hit manual. Wow, that almost like pitched it up. It almost sounded like. Wow, that is cool. Wow, and obviously you want to bring that back down, um, but that is really cool too. Oh my gosh, so many cool things. Oh, that's really cool. It like stopped there. Oh, and then it came back. That is really cool. Wow, that's cool. So obviously you could have that fade down, but it's kind of cool having the eight bars here too. All right, this is pretty amazing so far, but let's hear it on one more thing. Let's hear it on some bass since we haven't done that yet. That's cool. All right, I could go on all day with this because it's so fun. It's so awesome. As you can see, you get all kinds of amazing effects right inside this one plugin. You don't need any extra sound effects. And there's so many things you can do with this so that they never get old. You don't get <laughs> you don't end up just using the same sound effects over and over again and it gets kind of stale. So there's like endless possibilities here because there's so many different variations uh, that you can do in here with automation and loops and manual and then all different presets, of course. So this is a really awesome plugin. If you want to try this out for yourself, just use my link, orpheusaudioacademy.com slash boost. And if you do decide to buy this plugin, just be sure to use my code at checkout, OAA-20, as that will get you 20% off your order. Also, if you want help creating more radio ready songs faster, then be sure to grab my free mixing checklist in the description below. This will walk you through a proven step-by-step -step process for mixing and mastering your music from home so that it sounds professional and radio worthy. With that, drop a like if you found this video helpful. Keep creating and I'll see you in a future video.